there is I'm happy you actually wore this because it's the first one of the first projects we did. Mm -hmm. And so Oshia is basically the translation of salvation in Hebrew. Okay. And as you can see there is two dots underneath the S to just emphasize on salvation. Oh and then yeah, established in twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys meet? In Birmingham, we actually both grew up in Birmingham. So the first time I actually ever saw Natalie was on the track at yeah. the competition. On the track running? Yeah, so yeah. we both actually did oh, okay. athletics. So she was my competitor. <laughs> yeah. Competitor turned into business partner. Yeah, yeah, you see how it works. But yeah, we, that's the first time we met. Mm -hmm. um, and then my communication with Natalie was... I was like, oh, well done, like, after the race, oh, well, you shake hands and whatnot. Yeah. Then, I don't even know why I spoke to you. Something was like, let me just uh, talk to her. I mean, she won the race, obviously, I, I didn't. Um, but, like, I don't know, something drew me to talk to her. And then it was a very small conversation because we didn't really yeah. start yeah. a friendship or anything. It was just, like, very, you know, casual. Yeah. So how did you guys get closer and start the business? Yeah, so... Um, we were quite young at that time. I think what age? Still 16. 16, 15, 16, or 16, 17. So it was in college where a mutual friend, mm -hmm. I saw her with someone I went to college with and he was my friend. Okay. So through that, it was like, oh, there's this girl. I was like, oh, I know, I've seen her before. Mm -hmm. I've yeah. her and stuff. So, you know, in college, you meet friends, you do mm -hmm. that. And through that, we became friends. And we've been friends ever since, and we became closer, became friends, sisters, and then business, business partners. <laughs> so that's where you started the business. What was the process for it? Um, it was just random. I don't think we actually spoke about, oh, we want to start a business like that. It mm -hmm. just came from conversation. I remember kind of drawing not drawing but designing uh something for my phone i wanted something to remind me that jesus was king um and then i was like what do you think of it and the first thing she said is like oh i can sit down a t-shirt and then i was like oh let's try and then she said let's try and we tried <laughs> <laughs> so it was very spontaneous yeah. yeah because i also remember saying i've always wanted to you know try out a clothing line or something but mm -hmm. i just didn't know how and then natalie was speaking of like She's designed a lot of things, but like, yeah, it's just there. Like, so it was like it, it just worked because unknowingly we had the same idea, just needed a connection. We just needed that yeah. connection and that conversation alone. Like, mm -hmm. we still even have the screenshot of how it even happened. Let's put it on a t shirt, okay? Oh. Let's try, <laughs> you know. So it was like that. So it wasn't like, okay, um, we had a meeting, okay, I feel like we need to go into partnership, we need to do this, we need to do that. No, mm -hmm. so I just feel like. God connected us through our friendship that it was so easy that it wasn't it wasn't like a hard thing to understand. Yeah. And what I would add as well is how you can't go to business partnership with anyone. Mm -hmm. Um most of the time you start a business and you realise the business is, you know, stopped because of, you know, personal interest, a personal conflict I would say. And I believe that God made a way through our friendship first, the yeah. growth that was there for the friendship kind of established a lot of trust. Mm -hmm. And from the trust, we were like, the business partnership was just so evident because even if I tell you the amount of, you know, disagreement we have, it's just <laughs> 0 0.005. So, yeah, that's yeah. something I wanted to add. That's really important because it's like, I feel like we have know we know how to maneuver around each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. As in, it's 0 0.005 because we know how to communicate, how to, even if it's a disagreement, it's not unhealthy. Yeah. You know, it's one where we can work around each other to make a final decision. It's not like a selfish thing where like, no, but I want it like this or no. You see how sometimes someone can be very like adamant on what they want mm -hmm. and not about what we should have. Yes. You know, so because there's that understanding as to how to work with each other. That's true. The disagreements are very limited. <clears throat> Not to say that there aren't any. There are, but we solve them right mm -hmm. there and then. That makes sense. Yeah. So it really helps. And so talk us through what is Hoshea. Am I saying it right? 
Yeah. For once. <laughs> a lot of people can say. Yeah, a lot of people can say. It's on she, on she, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> different things. But, um, but she is salvation in you. And we just wanted to communicate this message or these words through clothing, mm-hmm. through something that people will wear casually and comfortably as well. Um, yeah. So, yeah. so as believers, we have to make the kingdoms of this world, the kingdom of our God, how we how can we do it aside, you know, church, this and that. How else can we do it? Yeah. Yes, there are clothing lines, but when you... Put the message in a way that people don't know it's the message. Mm. They ask questions. Yeah. Because many people say, oh, what's Hoshia? So, oh, it means salvation in Greek. I'm sorry, Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> in Hebrew. <clears throat> and like, oh. And it's like, but the green dot, yeah. The emphasis on salvation. And then the conversation starts. Are yeah. you saying, do you know Christ? It's like... The foundation is even laid to now even represent or present Christ to that person mm. because of what they've seen. They have no idea what it means because they've not seen it before or heard it before. Yeah. You know, so Hoshia is basically salvation or clothing, salvation for people to... It's like they get to know about what salvation even yeah. is or what it means through seeing this. Yeah. So... I would say... When Oshia started, I was still, you know, a baby Christian. So <laughs> I was like, when I was hearing the thing, you know, Christian need to evangelize, we need to do this. I said, listen, me, I'm not that type of person. I'm not going to stand up in the street and talk with a mic. And I was like, the same way people evangelize in the street, we kind of do the same thing. Uh, it's not really obvious because, like she said, people ask questions, they are really intrigued about it. But it's another way of serving God and doing, you know, the kingdom work through creativity and just, you know, allowing people to wear something they will believe in mm-hmm. and with hope. Um, I kind of, I'm the creative side of things. And even through the logo, we just, yeah, it was a lot of back and forth. But it's like everything we do has a meaning. Like if you see a doll or even, you know, trees or stuff, you just know that it's not there just by accident. And even though you see two dots, it's green for a reason because green represents hope, and that's the hope we have in Christ. So everything needs to connect to something. Oh. So yeah. Um, you know the two dots. Yeah. Mm. The S. Is it meant to? Is it meant to stand out as S for salvation? Yes. So okay. Yeah. So like Natalie was explaining, the green does represents hope. Mm-hmm. It emphasizes. It makes it stand out. Why are the green dots under the S? Mm-hmm. It's mm. there because we want you to. Focus now on the S for salvation. So, okay. like, see how you've asked the question. Mm-hmm. We've not answered you yet. The S is under the S because of the salvation element. Mm. Mm-hmm. We all need salvation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody needs to be saved. But how do you now get to know about it? Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like the conversation and the questions and stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's why it's under the S, just to emphasize that the salvation element. Yeah. Because our four was, you know those punctuations you have the dots okay yeah i thought it was because of that but now i get the understanding of it and it's mm. also actually it's also part of our logo yeah so, oh, okay yeah um on some of our designs we have just the dots because it also represents her she has, mm. you know see other brands they they have the main and yeah. then there is like also small elements but you know that when you see this it's this brand <laughs> it is yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. it's the same See this? So she, see the two dots? Here? So she had to. So she had to. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Um, ever since you guys opened up Hoshia, have you had any challenges in terms of running up the business? Um, did you guys do it before pandemic or after pandemic? During. During, During yeah. Okay. During. So how, what was the challenges? I mean, I I believe the main challenge was just during pandemic. Mm-hmm. Like, there was a lot of pauses. Yeah. So, yeah. ordering and then the delay of things coming. So, like, I believe the main challenge we had was just external. It was mm-hmm. a worldwide challenge. Yeah. You know, you order, you don't get it on time because shipping has paused. There's 
not much ingoing and outgoing and stuff or mm. the sea. So the main challenge for us was literally operating through that season because mm. of what was going on in the world. Mm. Okay. What I agree. Like I think I agree. I think in the same way we had like challenges because it was like the a world war issue. I had I don't know about you, but I had a personal challenges with stress because I never ran a business like that before. Mm -hmm. um, and Petra has a lot of experience, so she was kind of my support, but I was building unnecessary stress because things were not working and I was always blaming. And, you know, when you start to doubt and, you know, it was at the beginning, like having challenges to see myself failing and then failing her as well. So it was internal, I would yeah. say, challenges. Um, but yeah. Is that team behind the show? Yes. The there team. is a team the three elements of yeah the, would you like the, to explain the three elements yeah i remember we went to a upper room um and then we were expecting to do a presentation and it's like oh what's the team who is part of the team and we literally said well i think i have the screenshot i was like god is the ceo jesus is the hr or his spirit is the creative director <laughs> like we literally keep on saying the team we are stewards we are the managers, but the real team is, you know, the spiritual team backing us up because creatively, I can't function if the Holy Spirit doesn't tell me what to do. And even in terms of advice, prayers, she literally kind of pour in like so much. So I think, yeah, that's the team. The five of us. Because <laughs> I'm not that creative. This lady here, creative creativity. <laughs> Yo, Sometimes she has to block me because it goes too much. <laughs> her creative sensitivity is crazy. Um, mm. And I know I'm not that creative. I can think of something, but to now translate that onto like a design, I can't do it, you know? So like, yes, we are the team. It may seem like there's more people, but no. So like I said, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and yes. the manager. <laughs> 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 it's so true and I think um, she keep on saying creativity and stuff but creativity doesn't do everything like I think it's the art itself to know how to talk to people uh, customer service wise I'm not that good but I'm learning from her yeah. uh, there is a lot of things she do admin wise that I just feel like oh my gosh I literally don't even try I just give it to her because I'm like I'm not doing this but as we are growing, I think we're trying to merge mm -hmm. our skills and try to learn from each other so that we as a whole can function. Yeah. Without just, I believe yeah. there's times where I've tried to do a design. I'm like, oh, um, yeah. I'm trying, but she's like, you know what? It's okay. Like, leave this bit to me. But yeah. like, I put it in my head that I'm going to try and learn. If mm -hmm. it takes me five years, it will take me five years, mm -hmm. you know, because of where we're going and stuff, you know. The same way we're like, her strength is maybe in one area, my strength is also in another area, but that makes a team. Yeah. Where one is lacking, one is advancing, and where one is advancing, one Amen. is lack. So that's where, like, we balance each other out, you know, for it to stand. So, is at the moment, what you're doing, is it taking away from your vision or getting closer to your vision? Say that again. So is what you're doing right now bringing you closer to the vision or like bringing back from your vision like mm. closer hundred percent yeah yeah because the vision has always been to make the kingdom of this world the kingdom of our God mm. you know we we have stuck to remaining a Christian brand mm. it may not like we may not say it vividly but everything that we've designed like freedom it doesn't say christian brand but freedom the doves everything like it's mm. it's a representation of the holy spirit mm -hmm. but until you ask you won't know mm. you know so it's like everything that we do is just how do i even put this in a nutshell we're not coming away from the vision mm -hmm. It's not our plan to, we haven't mm -hmm. also, and we will not. Simply because of what's the, the, the brand name, Shia, Salvation. Mm -hmm. So the moment we even try to, because everything is so glued to the Holy Spirit, the, the 
the guilt and the uh, rebuke we will receive. Mm. <laughs> I don't think we, we can. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to, I don't think we can. So yeah, we are we are like on course to going deeper and you will see it through our designs, through your things that are coming up and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you mentioned your latest project freedom. Would you like to tell us more about it? Yeah. Yes. That was um we started this in twenty twenty one. And it was not making sense. I mean, we started, you know, I mean, creatively, Mm -hmm. um, I was basically kind of asking her for advice and everything. And she was like, yeah, it's fine. But deep in my heart, I was just like, no. So we had a lot of delays because we wanted something perfect in our eyes. And I think when we saw the final product and when we compared it to the first one, it was good to wait. And something that we learned through this process is how delay is actually a big advantage to actually come close to what God wants. The final results was better. Um, and I would say that freedom, it's more than just a clothing brand, because, uh, sorry, a collection. It's because we did the whole evangelism with that on the street of Oxford um, in August. We asked unbelievers what does freedom meant to them mm-hmm. because we really wanted to have a perception of that word freedom that is so widely used, but yet not a lot of people really truly understand the freedom that we have. Um, so it was an experience. Freedom was more of an experience than a collection, I would say. Um, and we wanted people to embody the freedom that people don't really realize that they are actually free in Christ um, because we have a lot of Christian bound. We have a lot of unbelievers bound because they think that freedom is actually do whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's actually bondage. <laughs> and I've been there. I'm not criticizing. I've been free, but it was not freedom. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's more than just a clearly like it's an experience. Yeah. What would you add to that? You've, you've, you've covered. Is there a new collect, uh, project or collection coming soon? Yes. There's a lot of things in the pipeline, but mm-hmm. according to strategic timing and release, and according <laughs> to the Holy Spirit, like things will begin to be released um, at the right time. But yeah, yeah. there's a lot in store. We're actually more than just a clothing brand. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's a lot in store. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how would you see Hosea in the next year? He did a mistake. Said Hosea. Oh. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. How would you see Hosea in the next year? Ooh. Um, I would say that Hosea will be established not as a christian brand because i don't like to use the the word christian brand we are kingdom um something that we like to say is that one of the like slogan i would say is that we are from the kingdom before the world Mm -hmm. which means that the assignment is not just to go to church sell hoodies in christian conferences we are more than that so when i say establishment of oshia in the coming year is to be recognized on the same level as Nike or Adidas or I don't know, pretty little thing because we still want to be more than just streetwear. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a lot of things that happens right now. You want to go somewhere, buy a nice dress, or you see it's cropped up, or you see it's, anyways, I'm not going to go too far. But it's like we want to find a way of having standards in the kingdom, but also for people in the world to realize that it's okay not to show that much skin, or even if you want to show skin, because trust me, it's still good to show as like it's fine but it's just how you do that um so yeah we just want to be on the same level as any other brand yeah Yeah. in our own league but Mm -hmm. still infiltrating these systems with things that you know we can comfortably wear Mm. you know sometimes like like you're saying when you're looking for some things like it's hard it's hard because it doesn't suit you as the person you've now become so that means there is a need for somebody to create something for people with the same need, you know. So it means it's not just limited to sweatshirts and t-shirts. It, it's like advancing into more modesty, you know. Mm. And modesty is defined in different ways for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But like it means that the designs that will come, it's suitable for a lot of believers that would want to still look classy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> still look very nice but like you know in a modest way 
yeah without having to force themselves to wear something that because i just needed something and this was the only thing available you know so it's just like expanding in that sense where like in a year's time different things will be released because of the need Mm -hmm. you know one thing we've come to understand is that every business is there because there was a need you know you're solving a problem you know and if we discover there's a problem by the grace of god god will help us to try and solve it Mm -hmm. yeah so if you could start your business own again would you do it differently no no really I would say the lack of experience helped me, mm-hmm. helped us. I mean, you've already experienced. <laughs> but I think, yeah, sometimes processes, I mean, bad begin. I wouldn't even say bad, but the way it is, is sometimes better. Perfection is not needed when you want to start something new, I believe. So I wouldn't start again differently, no. Yeah, same, I wouldn't. Because it's like it's learning to move together. Yeah. Because Natalie said I'm experienced. Even me, I'm still learning. You know, I, I as it comes, I'm someone I I love to learn on the go as well. Mm. Um. So it's like when you're thrown into the deep end, you figure it out because it needs to be done. It's so true. You know. So like, I I like I wouldn't do anything different because we have the right foundation. Prayer is an element that cannot be taken out, mm. you know. And I believe because we have these fundamental elements, prayer, trusting in the Holy Spirit, even your business, like asking the Holy Spirit for inspiration, mm. you know, like all these things has allowed us to flow as in like... Yeah. Yeah, so it's like to do things differently now. I know. It's to, we take it as it comes and we we move according to the plan. You know, because you have to have a plan and everything, but I don't think we do anything. Mm. One more last question. What would you say to the people that are watching you? Mm. I would say if you have an idea, start. A lot of people are like, oh, you need to know this in marketing. You need to do, okay, Google is your friend, YouTube is your friend. Everything's out there and it's free. So it's the willingness, the desire, and the trust in the Holy Spirit that can lead you anywhere. So to start don't be afraid because mm. um, everything may not go to plan but sometimes every mistake it's is part of the plan it's like a mistake yeah. can be a new there's a saying that my mom said every mistake is a new style <laughs> it's like sometimes what was not meant to be actually work mm-hmm. you know and you will never know unless you try yeah. And don't doubt yourself or don't look at someone to say, oh, but I can't be like them. They're already doing it. Someone's already doing it. It's like the excuses and this and this. And Try, you know, be ready to put in the work and effort. Because if you don't put in the work and effort, yes, it's not going to scale like how others have, you know. And it's a journey. Enjoy it, you know. Do the research. Don't just have a desire and let it sit on the side and think it's going to work itself out it's not going to happen you know so pray be intentional and have a plan seek the right advice you know like there are people that can actually give you advice i'm sure in your surrounding there are people that are actually doing something be inquisitive ask questions so that you do the right thing you know avoid the mistakes that we have made, others have made, you know, so, but you won't know if you don't ask questions. That's true. And you have a plan. So, like, you have to be very intentional with how you go about it. So, I would say just don't be afraid. Just, you know, do it. You can do all things with Christ who strengthens you. <laughs> yeah, man. So. Um, thank you for coming to Shiva. God bless you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Good job. Bye, 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 bye.